everybody, Christina Rizakos here. I am a daycare business mentor and strategist. I am an early childhood educator by trade with over 21 years experience. I'm the founder of ProfitableDaycare.com and I am also a daycare business owner. Um, as you can see, I'm in my office right now and I wanted to talk about something today that I think is crucial for anyone that is either a director of a center or an owner. Uh, it's something that can simplify your life. It's something that will make everything run more smoothly in your business. And I don't know about you guys, but I am all about automation and just freeing up more of my time. So I'm talking about systems you can automate through binders. As a business owner, I believe that you should not be working in your business. You should be working on your business, making sure it's thriving, making sure you have customers, making sure um, you know your staff is happy and that they are um, working at the right place. So let's talk about binders and systems and why they're crucial in your business. So I believe that anything that frees up your time as a business owner or you know daycare director should be your priority, right? I believe that systems show professionalism. I believe that doing a lot of the work at the beginning kind of sets the flow and the pace of your business and anyone that walks into your business after all these systems are set up it just makes it much more easier and much more smoother for them to integrate in your business family one of the ways that i do that the ways i automate is with binders that are filled with systems and any kind of paperwork a staff member would need from me from the office so what are systems binders and why can they help your business get organized and free up your time it's very simple and very basic these are binders that are set up with all the information that your staff needs without them coming to ask you for stuff right in the office so whether you're in the office or you're not they know exactly protocols and procedures to follow let's say if they need a day off if a child is sick um if they have to call a parent for something um a new walk-in you know just decides to pop in what do you do how do you get organized and it's very basic i'm actually in my office right now and i want to show you guys what i do so this is one of my systems binders okay and it might take you a little bit of time to set it up at the beginning but then after that it's something that you can revise every year so it's super simple you'll do all the work at the beginning but then it's going to free up your time and i mean you're all set after that right so um this is a binder that i actually have uh, when i hire new staff okay so i've done all the work i have all my templates in place everything is done everything is organized as you can see with uh, dividers and in here when i am in the process of hiring someone i have probational contracts I have the rules and regulations of the center, our, our program, I have the staff's booklet, I have uh, sheets in here that talk about the staff and their role and what they're responsible for when they walk in the center. So everything basically that anyone would need in the office when you are hiring someone is all in here and i'm talking about everything so i keep this up to date every single year or when the law changes or you, you know because laws change you know all the time so you have to make sure obviously that you're up to date with your laws and your labor standards and all that but very super super simple to assemble and it's going to make your life so much easier there's so many other binders that i have around the center like if you could see up there i have binders for anything that has to do with state laws well i'm in i'm in canada so it's a province province of quebec so province of quebec there's a lot of rules and regulations daycare center owners need to follow need to respect and the fun thing is that the government decides to update these <laughs> like every couple of months so you always have to make sure you're up to date so what i do is i go online i download all the booklets and all the uh the updates and i just put them in my binder i replace them so i have binders up there for um you know daycare's layout i have binders that talks about the law and what kind of laws we have to respect in quebec in our daycare center. I have laws that talk about the educator's credentials and what kind of papers I need in their files. I have binders up there where I have templates of old newsletters. So every year, like let's say every Christmas, I don't need to recreate something on the computer. Um, I print one out over there and I just go through it before I actually start updating it. I have ideas of what kind of things I mentioned last year that I might have forgotten this year. Um, what else do I have up there? anything that has to do with payroll is up there um 
anything that has to do with the wait list, um, just basically anything. And on top of these binders, the teachers in their classrooms also have their own binders. So um, what I would include in a binder that's in the classroom, um, we could do you could do many of them, but the main binder that every educator has in her, her class is obviously a sheet where all the um, allergies are written. Um, there are sheets in there where the educator talks about her program and her her routine. So let's say we do have a substitute. All she has to do is pull out the binder and she'll know, oh, okay, this child has an allergy. Oh, this is what they basically do around 10 a.m. This is how they go out. This is the song that they sing in the morning. I have sheets in those binders that have to do with a list of the children with their emergency contacts. So the teachers have access to that as well. Um, so let's say I am not in the office and for some reason the office is closed and they need to contact a parent, they have the information on their fingertips. So um, I have binders where I give to new staff members. So the, the teachers that you hire that are there on probational terms for like three months, usually you hire someone for three months, you try them out. Um, I'm not gonna give them what I would a permanent employee. So I have binders in there that talk about a program briefly that talk about responsibilities and rules. So one of my favorite um, systems binder to prepare is the one for anyone that starts off with a three month contract. So every new staff member, usually you hire them for a three month probational contract. And I wouldn't necessarily give this uh, staff member everything that I do, someone that has been there, you know, has someone has that has permanent status in my business. So what I have in this binder is very basic. It's obviously their contract. There's rules and regulations that everyone needs to follow in the center, right? So whether you're permanent or whether you're, um, you know, temporary worker, everyone needs to follow the same rules so everyone can be on the same page. I, uh, I add in there our educational program so they could all know what's expected, what's not expected, what our mission is, what we value, what we believe in in our center. And I also add in there a little bit about the children or the group that they're going to be working in. That's it. I'm going to make it more difficult. Um, I want anyone that gets hired, uh, even if it's only for three months, I want any new employee to feel as though they get a, a sense of what's expected of them, first of all, because I believe that everyone needs to know what the, what's expected of them and a little bit about what the center feels like and what it would be like to work here after their three months is up. That is hopefully if everything works out well. And why I think setting up a binder for anyone that is hired on a temporary basis is because number one, they know exactly what's expected of them, right? Number two, they get a sense of what the daycare feels like. So what are the pros about having binders filled with systems well obviously the first one is freeing up your time so you don't have people knocking at your door what do i do with this what do i do with that the staff has all the information they need in their fingertips so they're more independent they know exactly where they're headed they know exactly what's expected of them it just makes i find the vibe of the classrooms when you have systems and automations in place much more professional. I mean, because you it shows everyone that you took the time to set this up properly at the beginning. Obviously, you keep updating as need be, but you took the time at the beginning, you did all the work for them, and all they need to do is basically just follow your systems and your automations. So for anyone that wants to start a binders system, I've actually created a free PDF guide to help you. So I basically walk you through pros and cons. I walk you through how to assemble your binders and give you a few ideas of exactly you know what kind of binders you can create and what exactly to put in them to help guide you. So if you want that free guide, all you need to do is go to www.profitabledaycare.com forward slash binders. You enter your info and voila, you get the free PDF sent directly in your inbox. How cool is that? So if you found value in this video, obviously comment, let me know if you tried the binders out, if you actually, um, if you're actually doing it right now, um, you know, what do you like best about it? How it's freed up your time as a daycare business owner. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel and to my newsletter over at my website, profitabledaycare.com. See you guys next week.